now. Good evening. We're continuing to follow the death of local business leader and car dealership owner Jose Arredondo, who was reportedly beaten to death at a condo while visiting Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. 23 ABC's Josh Sanders joins us live at Arredondo's dealership with what the State Department is now saying. Josh. Yeah, Tim, Jess, a lot of people in shock. Widespread speculation going throughout the community, but there's actually little known regarding the circumstances surrounding Arredondo's death. What we do know is the U.S. State Department is now keeping an eye on this investigation. Bakersfield automotive businesses are in shock after reports of the death of 58-year-old Jose Arredondo. Uh, Bakersfield, especially in the automotive industry, is a very close-knit community. John Petrie, Chief Operations Officer at Motor City Buick GMC and Motor City Lexus, said he received an email informing him and other dealerships in the area that Arredondo had died. According to Baja California Sur State prosecutors, Tuesday morning officials were called to a condominium in the small resort town of San Jose del Cabo after reports of a body showing blunt force trauma was found. Family was, you know, reached out to us and let us know what happened and, you know, certainly a sad circumstance. I don't know the details of the situation. I only know that he was in Cabo San Lucas um, on business and pleasure. I know he had a home down there and a business down there, so I don't really know the circumstances why he was there, but unfortunately something tragic happened to him. According to Tribuno de los Cabos, the local outlet reports Arredondo was found laying on the floor with several wounds caused by a knife in the back. The U.S. Department of State Bureau of Consular Affairs releasing this statement to 23ABC. We confirm the death of a U.S. citizen in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. We are closely monitoring local authorities' investigation into the cause of death. We stand ready to provide all appropriate consular assistance. Tim, Jess, again, little is known regarding the circumstances surrounding Arredondo's death. I did reach out to local police in Cabo, and they hung the phone up on me. So we'll take that as them having no comment right now. Now, this is a developing story. We'll continue to follow it on our social media platforms. For now in Southwest Bakersfield, Josh Sanders, 23ABC, connecting you.